All right, guys, how's it going? Moto Dragon here again. First video, first proper kind of video on the new beast. It's a bit chilly out. As you can see, it's an absolute horrible, horrible day out. I went to record this earlier and it just fucking pissed down. Like proper came down with the rain. So I just said, fuck, I'll come out now while it's not raining. I can always give the bike a quick scrub. If I really want to. Oh, the sound of this thing's a fucking beast. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. <laughs> it sounds so fucking nice. So as I said in my other video, this is the new bike. 2015 Yamaha MT-07. And I've only ridden it from the dealer to the house and a little bit this morning. Literally, I'd say a mile, if even. And even just on it now, this bike is so fucking nice. Oh, I'm so a little, wouldn't say nervous, but it's just weird having all this torque. <laughs> so I keep it at a lower gear but fucking hell this bike like I can't believe this is like a, a learner bike but it's a bike I, I wouldn't encourage a learner to get this bike just with the amount of torque on it you, like even a fork gear there's so much torque and the sound of this so this is a full Leo Vince exhaust on it it just sounds fucking filthy <laughs> But what I wanted to talk about in this video, like, so this isn't a reveal. I have to get time to actually record a proper reveal. I thought we were going to be able to go there. I haven't had time to do one yet. I feel like an air sound I'm kind of stuck in the box. Yeah, like I don't have time to do a proper reveal. Um, so I'm just going to bring a few videos on it, but I'm not really going to show much of the bike until uh, until I do the reveal. I think that's only kind of fair. So I'm going to do a little reveal of myself and then one of my friends going to, he said he's going to help me. He's going to um, use his drone and all to, to help me to make it look a bit nicer. Um, but so far I'm so happy with this bike. I've done fuck all driving on it. It's so nice. Like the one thing they always said about the mt 07s is you can see where they kind of cut costs and yeah like this all feels nasty and cheap, but nothing nothing moves, doesn't make any noises. You know, you could see where they cut costs, but it's not, I wouldn't say cheap, they just saved money. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> this thing's just fucking nasty. Uh, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of say why I bought this bike um, over, say, the MT-09 or a, a Triumph. Um, or even the Kawasaki. So I was looking at a Kawasaki Z800. I was actually going to buy a Z800, but it sold the day I wanted to. Uh, the day I rang up about it. So that kind of um, made the decision for me. It's this first tunnel. <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> oh my god this thing's fucking nuts the sound of this is just unreal um because and the one the one of these i test drove um was a standard exhaust and they just sound so bad so quiet and all you have to do is buy an exhaust and it changes the bike completely it's it's crazy Usually when you get an exhaust, it will change the bike. And you're like, oh, wow, this is amazing. But this just completely changed the bike. But yeah, so why did I get this over any of the other competitors? So I wanted a naked bike. I didn't want to spend too much money on it. To be honest, I didn't want to spend a lot. And I've been reading up on these and seeing how many people, what, like, what people have to say about them. And the fact that they say nothing bad about them. Like, <laughs> I haven't really seen any negative complaints about it. It's, it's crazy. It's one of the only bikes I've looked at. 
that doesn't have anything negative. The only negative is the kind of cheapness, but it's a fucking cheap bike, brand new. In Ireland, brand new, they're like just over eight grand. So I don't think this is the ABS model, but on the, the book, so this guy had, the, this was brought in from the UK and it goes through a, a vehicle registration tax. It gets uh, inspected and all, but it says that it's a, it says that it's ABS, but I don't fucking think it is ABS. But I think, I'm pretty sure this is just the standard one. I don't see the, the ABS little things on the brake. Um, but yeah, why did I get this one? <laughs> I got it for such a good price. As I said in the video, I got it for five and a half grand. It's a 2015, 14,000 kilometers, almost 15,000 kilometers on the clock. Full Leo Vince exhaust, loads of RNG bits. Now, granted, it was dropped on the left hand side so I can see the marks. There's like a tiny mark on the little plastic thing here. But everything that um, is marked is can be cheaply replaced. So I'm not too annoyed or angry or upset about it for the price I got it. Um, generally, they're like a lot more. Yeah, so I was actually looking at both the Street Triple. Oh, excuse me. The shifter on this is so high, so I really need to uh, lower it down. You have to kind of lift your foot off. But I was looking at the Triumph uh, Street Triple and uh, Kawasaki Z800. I was looking at both of them. And oh, I had my eye on the MT-07s, and I don't know why. And I was always kind of afraid to bite the bullet. But literally, I, I went for four of them. I, I went to ring up about four different MT-07s, and every single one of them sold. Like, they, they're so hard to get. Like, everyone I ask about them, they just say how amazing of a bike they are. So, like, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking to have this bike for a few years, you know? I'm looking to having it for a year, sell it, make my money back, maybe even make a bit of money on it for how, um, for the price I got this for. Why did I kind of go from a ZX6 to essentially a beginner bike, you know? So the main kind of reasons for them is um, I wanted to buy a bike that was a bit newer. So the Kawasaki was a 2007. Um, this is a 2015, so it's definitely newer. Um, I wanted something with a fuel gauge. That was another thing. I needed something with a fucking fuel gauge. Having a fuel light was so annoying. But that also kind of goes into my, my other point. The other reason why I needed it was, um, or the other reason why I went for one of these, I think it's starting to fucking rain again. It's okay, I'm gonna kind of loop back around anyway. The other reason why I went for one of these is, I wanted something a bit upright for my commute. So I'm after getting, uh, my, like my job now is in Dublin. So I wanted something that's just a little bit nicer for my commute. So I wouldn't be afraid of getting a bit dirty or ruined. Like this bike, you know, it's all black, well it's, it's uh, the, the kind of dark purple, which I actually think is fucking lovely. Purple's one of my favorite colors. But this type of purple, I remember in um, Need for Speed Underground 2, always getting the, um, <laughs> the, the, the Nissan 350Z and uh, making that kind of midnight purple. So I've always loved that color scheme. But like the main reason I got this over all the other ones is this kind of just seems to be the best for everything. Fuel is cheap, has a fuel gauge, tells you your MPGs as well, which is fucking crazy. I actually never knew that. Um, it's upright, loads of fun. Like the main thing is I was afraid to go down to one of these because I was like, oh, I'm so used to, you know, 110 horsepower and now I'm going to like 70. But... But no, like this torque so far. Like I think, I, I think for what I needed a bike for, the likes of this is just perfect. All the like low down grunt. The one thing I don't like is I don't really like the the brakes on it. I think the brakes are kind of shit. I don't like that there's not up there's upside down suspension isn't on it. But I might put um, MT09. Uh, forks on it maybe I might I was thinking of it but yeah I just needed a bike that was a little bit better for me for my commute and something a bit better on my pocket you know the insurance in this is so much cheaper fuel is gonna be cheaper like I should be able to get longer 
turf like filling up that's kind of the main thing on the zx6 i was filling up every single day so it just got fucking annoying oh i gotta go under a tunnel i forgot about that so far i'm so happy with this bike and i've been itching to get a go on it like i've been itching to drive it i've had it since thursday so i've had it like three days oh come on man and i haven't been able to go on it yet so i'm just like you know what fuck it it's not raining okay let's see <laughs> like it doesn't feel like it struggled to get to that speed you know and I think I made a good decision with this bike I really really do um but yeah guys i'm gonna kind of end the video i just wanted to do a quick video literally around the block of why i picked the mt07 over all the other bikes again i've looked at all the other bikes just something about an mt07 i always wanted and kind of money and everything kind of came down to it like with everything the price i got this for i kind of would have been a bit stupid not to go for you know got it from a garage so if there's an issue with it, it's going straight back to him don't really mind so i'm okay with that kind of just diddy daddy now like oh the fucking sound is just beautiful but look guys that's the video I'm gonna end it here hopefully you guys are looking forward to the reel of the new bike let me know what you think of my decision i know i kind of feel like a, a standard youtuber now but i have my reasons but look guys that's the video hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to y'all in the next video